everyone welcome to you my youtube channel video automation tutorial point if you are new on the channel so please like share and subscribe my youtube channel so guys in this video we will talk about that how to select the first row from the filter data and you know just how to skip if there is no data after applying a filter right so guys this is the you know just common problem what we are facing in our daily life while we are creating a macro right for filtering the data so now i'm just going to the scenario right so here is my raw data right so here you know just i'm going to write a code to apply a auto filter right and how would we get the first row and how would we skip if there is no data after applying a filter so I'm just going to the coding window and writing a program. First, I'm declaring a one variable SST type of worksheet. Right and another I'm creating a one other variable that is type of long. Right. So here I'm setting a this variable where my row data is exist. So my row data in seat one so here i'm getting the last fill row of my row data right so here is the formula count i'm taking a column first right and excel up dot row right with the help of this you know just we will find the last updated row means last blank row right so here what i'll do is l applying a filter sst dot range from a1 to z i have the data from column a to till column g and last row dot auto filter right filled equal to 5 now you can see that here here you can see that uh, I'm going to apply a filter in basis on the E column that is country column that is column number 5 right so here my criteria criteria is my criteria 1 is equal to usa right so guys i am declaring a one more variable type of range so first so first you know just we will skip if there is no data after applying a filter so in so how would we do that setting this range variable i'm setting a range into this range variable so that is sht dot range which is start from a1 to z2 sorry z last dot special cells right excel cell type visible right here i am applying a condition if rng dot area dot count less than equal to one then message box there is no data right i'm just exit the sub and if right guys okay. if i have the data then how would i select the data from the first row after having a filter so for this sst dot auto filter dot range dot offset that is row first right dot special cell right that is excel 
excel cell type visible i'm applying a filter on the only visible cells visible right dot cell i'm just taking the first row after applying a filter that is select right so what i'll do is i'll just simply select the data from left to right selection selection dot and action to right right dot select now i'm selecting the data from top to bottom that is selection that is selection dot and actual down right dot select so now i am copying the only visible cell that is selection dot special cells cell cell type visible right dot select now i'm just copy the selected data selection dot copy now you can you know just uh, do your action if you want to copy the data if you want to copy this data and paste it in another workbook so just add your workbook here right so guys now that's it for the code now i'm going to you know just execute the code and we'll show you the output right so here so here is my data right so first i'm going to execute the code one by one so now you can see here right so here you can see that I have the two data for a USA country, right? So it will check that automatically if I have no data, so its condition will be false. But here I have the data more than one, so my condition will be false. If condition is true, then it's automatically exit the sub. So now it's automatically goes here. Now it selected the first row of the filter data. Now it's automatically sel selected from left to right and select from top to bottom and here just select and here now you can see that copy the data. Now you can see that you can paste your data into the another new workbook right. So, for, so now I'm applying a filter for KL, KL country. Now you can see that. I'm just removing the filter now you can see that uh, you know just I don't have the country like KL so what will happen is automatically return the uh, you know just show uh, a message box that there is no data and terminate the sub here there is no data after applying a filter so it's automatically terminate the subroutine right guys so guys that's it for this video if have if you have any concern any queries related to the filter and all that so please write your comments in the comment box i'll get back to you on that so guys thank you thanks for the watching